See you guys. <laughs> yeah. What I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna cut the hair, the whole back into a beautiful shape, separate from the front, right? So you're gonna see a beautiful back to about here. And then I'm gonna cut the front separately. No, I'm gonna cut this back away. Be careful. That's what you want off, right? You can go like this. Look. What the hell are you doing? You're shredding it at a 45. All it's going to do is explode in the back. You're going to come from the top down like this, 45, and into a concave, right? right That's what you want to do. So you take the weight out. You guys see what happens Keep when the it breaks out? Watch. Look how this so kicks how up here. Look at that. Be so aware of that. Watch. Get up. That's how we've cut. Look. You always make the sections about a finger width, okay? Because so the finger side is going to be. This is going to so travel where it's at the next section. So we're going to do it. Right? It's so easy just to cut that. What have you got? A hard line. The hard line right in the middle. So what we're going to do is make sure that we do 45 right at the end. I'm going to turn it to soften it, right? So what's it? Two angles. 45 and it's concave. If I cut it inside my hand, what have I got? One hard angle, right? So watch again. Take it here. Seven seconds. I start cutting down. See the short. my hand up. Next section, look. Take it right into the center. Next section, you're going to long. Pick it up, start cutting down. Cut it up. You want to keep it close to the same. So the short supports the long and helps everything flip out and gives it some. Watch for the next section. You change it. Because you can't make it exactly match. So what you make it happen is. Taking my crown away, right? You see like an angle with. Where it gets so even. Now what? It's just kind of your artistic interpretation. If you look, I got full battery for me. Now, if you were learning hair cutting, this is what you do. You go like this, look. So what happens is, the short supports the long. So when you right. get to you connect this. When you connect that, they're close to each other where they marry. Imagine if you connect that. What you're going to do? You're going to make that flat, and you're going to make a hard line right here. Now what do you do with it? All you have to remember is I always want to do the hard long behind the ear. If it's long behind the ear, like that. if you don't have it long behind the ear, you create a hole. That's 45. That's 19. Easy. And check this out. 135. You guys look at the easy In a rounded head shape. Watch how it works out. It has a long hair hair. Yes, normal. Everything's either cut the bottom and do some layers. Yes, normal. If you smell it, it's Now what? Why don't you do this instead of going through it? Oh, but your shears like that. Look, it's tearing it apart. And use the back of your shears. Watch. I drop out my guide. That's 19 right there. I comb it again. All the way up to 135. 45, 90, 135 with a rounded head shape. There it is, right? Drop out your guide. Come right up, look. All the way up. Please out. Seven sections again. Once again, yeah. the middle short. Look at the other side, look. Look at the side. It's so heavy, you know what I mean? It's so hard to blow dry when you have so much hair. In the same style, we're doing the same style. Just taking the weight out, right? Now watch again, let me turn it this way. You can see it, watch. There it is right there, look. Look it up right here, look. Isn't that where it is? Check that out. See how cool that looks? That's where you normally cut it off, right? Watch how we do it. Watch my shit up. Okay, we'll it out. It out. There's a bend right there, right? Take it out. Right there and start continue. 135. One four right there, look. Pick it up, come up. There's 45 right there, look. Open it up. All the way up to 135 right there. Watch. Short, long, short. Oh, the front part is 
Hello. Four minutes. Now watch this flat right there. Watch how we change that. One, two, and three. Where's our problem? Right here. Right? What you doing? You're laying the long hair over the short hair that holds it up. Can you imagine cutting that from the top down? Let me watch. Right over here. Where's my next one? Right here. Watch how we cut the crown. Take, right, okay, okay. Take it from here, watch. Open it up and just cut my crown right there, look. What's up, buddy? What about you? Hello, buddy. Take it underneath the way, why? I want this to drop flat, I don't want it to be wide, right? So I'll go right here, look. Now, how do you normally cut this? Like this, look. What you want to do is cut it down so it softens the hair slightly. So I take it here, look. I pick it up. I cut down. And now, look. Right on the ear. Can you see that? Now, this goes back, right? This is going to be a little bit longer. Then I'm going to cut a curve. I want to disconnect the back of the front. So watch how I do this. I take this back, look. So you can see. I take it back right there. Then I cut it down and up. Now we just have the softness right there. Now, you see how straight that line is there? Curve your head and create a shape. Watch. Take it here. Watch my hand. Same shape as here, right? All the way down. A little bit more, right here. Now watch. You see it? You look at it, you shape it, and it's perfect. Take that away. What's that going to do? I'm going to cut that down, right? And that's to lay down. The next section is going to be cut up, right? How cool is that? And it doesn't have a line. That's the thing. And it's so cool. You really a lot of times people get lines. You don't get a line, but you twist it. And what it's doing is that everything really blends. Why don't I take it back? It's going to be long to the front, right? Also, if you look at it, where's the weight? Right here. So I'm going to cut it down and up, right? Leave the outside long. Take the weight out the middle. Look. Take it back. Right there. Cut down and up. Next one. Take it back. Are you ready? Cut down and up. Now watch. We've got a problem here, right? Where's your party? Right here. Where's your party, my baby? On this side. Where do we need the lift? Right here. So we take it here, look. I see you, buddy. Watch out. Open your shears like this, look. What else? What did I do? I went deep and then. Watch Watch my shears. Right there. Now I've got light. Light there, strong here, look. Real bad. I really want this to be disconnected from that. Shape this a little bit more, right? Again. 
right here, look. So what do people do? They go like this, look. There's the weight. You don't want to spread the hands. You're going to take the weight out right here. So what do you do? You take it back. Take it back. Right there. And now start shaping inside and out. What did you just do? You're removing that weight, right? Take it again, right here, look. Bring it back. Start taking that weight out again. Now bring it forward, look. Now watch, you see where this is flat? Now we're gonna pick it up, right? Take it right here. So what do we do? We did that down and up. Watch the next piece, we go here, look. Where's it flat? Right here. So we go here, look. Pick it up. Once you got them, go right in here. Watch here. If I want to blend this, right, well, take it like this, I can cut it slightly, but I'm not going to do much. I don't want it to blend too much. I want it to be separate, look like that. I'm going to use our body detailer. It just creates a different vibe and a line. Now watch my bangs. Look how heavy those bangs are. I've got to take that out. How do you take that out? You cut it on that side of the head from underneath. Take it from here, look. Press it over. Press it right over. Right here, right? Once you press it over, they're coming down and into the head. What am I doing? Taking all the weight from underneath. If I did this, what's going to happen? I'm layering the top. I can't even control it. Once again, take it from here. Press it right over. Press it over. Bring it right across and take it out right here. that piece up and leave it away. Now watch here. I've shaped my bags, right? And I want them to curve, right? Come out curve, look, look, look. Take them like this, look. You know, the next six, I'm gonna pull it out. Take it out at 90, right? Look off the head. Cross over the face, look. Coming down. Now bring it back. again into the back of the head. So everything I do, I'm doing round layers because I'm moving through the haircut. And I'm going through stroking the hair in order for it to fall in. I want it to be the most perfect haircut for the head shape and have a lot of blends and get a lot of texture. Watch how we do that. Now open here, look. Take it here. Hold it like that. Curve your hand, right? Start coming right in here. Do that all day, all day long. Now you can see. Yes, see I cut the crown? I cut the crown from here, look. I cut it over here, right. Why? I want to lift it here. Instead of lifting it here, I lifted it there, right? Makes so much more sense. It's so weird that people cut the thing up here and expect the bottom to lift up. So weird. Anyway, you can see, can you see this weight right here? Look at that. It's difficult for me to cut that because if I go like this, I'm just shredding it. So right here, I'm gonna pick it up as well. Right there, divide it in half. I'll pick it up just slightly here. And right here. I'll tell you what it is. You know, we all know. You know, it's angle section this way. Instead of doing sectioning this it's way. It's such a simple thing. Like, this way, that's not the way it's going to lay because you just cut it and it lays kind of flat. So if you do it on an angle, you kind of give it more of a swing and more of a movement. Okay. There we go. Thank you, baby.